Hey, it's Mandy with Queen Anne's County Television. And this year, we're celebrating the 80th anniversary of the Queen Anne's County Fair. So I've decided to sit down with a special guest and learn just a little bit about the history of how this park all became. So here we are at the park, and I'm here with the special guest, Mr. Paul Gunther. Mr. Paul, how are you? I'm fine. Always glad to be at the 4-H park. Absolutely. And here we are, 80 years of the Queen Anne's County Fair. Yep. Pretty amazing. I haven't been here to the toll 80 years, but uh, <laughs> uh, sometimes it feels like exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, so. it's, yeah. it's a long work, and it's a long prior to the week work that gets put in. Right. Um, you know, a lot of behind the scenes that people yeah. don't know. As for you've known, you've been at that pit of many, many years. Yeah. But we've met today um, to share with our viewers, you know, this park, it started many, many years ago. And the history behind this park, a lot of people in the county don't know how the park became the park. Yep. Actually, it was a prominent dairy farmer who was uh, um, lived here in the county. Uh, he'd made his money other places. Uh -huh. And uh, he uh, he'd had visited the fair supposedly and many times when it was out it was out where G and G was yes. in the early days. It was on the other side of the Centerville Heights. Uh, uh, it moved around I understand. It moved place, around town. Right? Yeah. And he thought that it, it was time to give it a, a home. Okay. And so he donated uh, 27 acres here that was originally part of the Blakeford operation, Blakeford Farm. Mm -hmm. um, he donated that uh, to the youth of Queen Anne's County Wow! to be held permanently in trust mm -hmm. by the county commissioners. And uh, so that's taken place and, and for 80 years, that's just kind of the way it's been. Right. And um, a lot of, uh, a lot, thousands, literally thousands of volunteers have oh, come yeah. through uh, helping to put this together. Most of the buildings, like the building behind you, were built uh, 100% uh, with volunteer help. And this and is one of the first? This is one of the first ones here. Uh, one of the very first projects, I think, was a group of uh, farmers and and other people got together and cut the trees down this main road uh -huh. that goes through the middle of the park. They cut the trees, they had the, the, the trees sawed, and they actually went into building this building. Wow, and I think it's got a lot of history in it. It has a lot of history. Yes. yes um, it does. And as people come out to the park, they can see the growth um, behind us. You know, to the right of us here, over here, we have one of the new buildings mm -hmm. that they're now slowly starting to upgrade and expand some of the buildings right. we have at the park. Right. Yes. And it, you know, it makes a difference. The building materials wear out, and uh, you know, like I said, these have been here for 80 years, uh, and um, they were all built, you know, with. Uh, with green lumber and all the other stuff that, that was grown right here. So it's, you hate to see those leave, but uh, eventually they're all gonna have to be Yes, it definitely yes. has to be replaced because right. the park gets a lot of use. Not only does it fund, you know, and hold our annual Queen Anne's County Fair, but lots of events take place here. We've had many weddings at this park. Yes, a lot of weddings, a lot of, a lot of county events uh -huh. and, uh, and national events, uh, uh, Congressman, uh, uh, Bill Mills yeah. uh, had his events. Rogers Morton, uh, who you was you were telling me a special guest yeah. was actually here many years ago. You yeah. remember? Yeah, well, right under the right under the 4-H, uh, I can remember seeing Ronald Reagan standing yeah, right here. Yeah, how about that? Uh, talking about uh, you know his uh, his run for at that time for presidency. He was governor of California at the time, but a endless number of legislators from from D.C. have come out. Nice. Simply because it's a, it's close to Washington. Right, we're right there. It's um, you know, it, it's it's just a it's a nice place. It's with plenty of trees, plenty of shade. You can get large amounts of of, uh, of people in here and feel very secure that the, you know, that they're everything's going to be okay. And the nice part about it is people don't know. You know, you host an event outside, never knowing what Mother Nature right. is. There's always accessibility to a building. Right. I think. Uh, the last I checked, there was about 11 and a half acres of roof area okay. here that's covered. So if there is a big rain event, right. <laughs> you know, you, you can do that or 
whatever it might be. And we've hosted some pretty cool events in the county. Um, I don't know if some of our viewers may remember the Chicken Festival was hosted here. The uh, the very last Delmarva Chicken, Chicken Festival. Chicken Festival, Chicken Festival yes. was here. And, and uh, Frank Purdue and Jim Purdue both were uh, here and they were so impressed with what we were doing that they actually stepped up and donate the chicken to the fair. Every oh wow, year. that's cool. So, and they don't do that for most, right. most uh, other county fairs. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just uh, um, <clears throat> just endless numbers of things that have that have taken place, you know, here. And you talk to people around the state, even around the nation, and they said, "Oh yeah, I remember that fairgrounds. <laughs> I remember." being there at such and such event. Or People seem to right. remind it. It's just got that, you know, we're very blessed in our county to have such a wonderful establishment right. that was donated mm -hmm. to the youth of the county, yeah, right. um, you know, to host many events. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the Moffat family uh, were really conservationists at hand because uh, there was a codicil in the, in the original deed of trust that uh, talked about having the forestry department uh, come through on an annual basis and, and check trees uh -huh. and make sure. So anytime they take down a tree, they're supposed to replace, replace it with one. I think the uh, the thinking on the on the bar, on the park board has been that we take one down and we put two back. Right. And uh, so there's been a lot of trees uh, assuring that you know that we'll have the shade and and um, you know the cover. Uh, for years and years and years to come. There we go. So. And the viewers may not know, the park is accessible to anyone in the county, really. I it mean, is. it's it an is. open facility. Right. Yep. I mean, the county, uh, the Senior Citizen Summit, where thousands of seniors yep. it's hosted uh, here. Came, came in and, and were hosted every year. Um, I mean, just some of the, some of the things that, uh, that you wouldn't even think about right down to the the motorcycle clubs the, they do they the, host uh, their right they have their event here every year the uh, uh the bay country music festival which was the longest running uh bluegrass festival in the state of maryland oh wow started at this park and ran for 40 some years how about that yep. And the um, the airstreams, right. they um, are here. Right. Come by. It's like two times a year. You'll notice them. They're right. parked out sure. at our right. camp hookups, right. right. and, um, and they host their club sure. here. Sure. And they always the, the nice thing about the airstreams is is that you know they give back, uh -huh. and they'll spend you know four or five hours while they're here. They all get together, and and ask for a project to do. So they'll you know they'll go around there, whether it's picking up limbs, trash or helping to repair a fence or whatever it might be. Right, yeah. nice, so, nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, what a great facility, you know, for us to have in the county. Definitely, we are blessed in Queen Anne's County to have this um, and accessible, like we said, accessible right. to anyone. Yeah. And definitely the youth, it gives them an area to come and showcase their projects and, you know, such hard work that they put in throughout the mm -hmm. years. I, you know, I've got to say too, that the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, yeah. and all the other, it's all the youth of Queen Anne's County. Everything, but that's, it, a, that's and, what you know. It, we've tried to explain right, it. Right. So many other avenues that use this. Oh, you ride by, there's always something right. going on at the park. Most of the time, most of the time it, it's it's utilized and it's it, and it's so inexpensive to use a facility. Yes. You know, I mean, I, I, I'm not sure what the rental fee is now, but it's probably less than $600 for the whole facility to get all the buildings. Yeah, and look what you get, day, yeah. right. So. And it's, we have a playground. That was actually a, right. um, that was a 4-H All-Star. 4-H All-Star program. Right, a young right. man yeah. built that. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a playground for kids, something right. for kids to do. You yeah. know, there's shade. We're definitely talking about the shade. So yeah. definitely, why not utilize it in our county? And now the, it's grown, too, because uh, uh, one of the last uh, federal projects that, that Senator Mikulski helped get through was adding the additional 15 or 18 acres to the back. It's now uh -huh. our parking area, which they're actually over there today uh, uh, putting some stones down getting nice. ready getting ready for the fair but that uh, uh, that was one of the things that that she wanted to leave as a memory right for the and it's kind of neat um, you know it, us being in the county we we have so many memories of the fair and everything and, you know you just take a walk around the fair and you see different things we have our um, at the park we have our brick memorial garden right and benches you'll see benches around right. the fair that family yes. members have donated right. and yes. certain buildings have been put in memory of people and things right. like that oh, you know yeah. it's a great place for 
you know, families where their families were so involved, yep. you know, to come back and, you know, donate stuff to. Yeah, there's, I mean, if you go back and look, I mean, go back just to a, a search through the Record Observer, and you would probably have to spend a week, maybe two, right, just to get the pictures up of all the, the great stories that Oh yeah, yeah, I mean you've brought me fair. some amazing so, ones so, here, yeah. some of the great stuff that we have going on here and a lot of locals in the county that people don't know that have right. put so much into this yep. park. Yeah, and uh, there was a, a quote that I remember uh, talking to uh, um, the uh, judge in Centerville that was pretty known to be pretty rough on on people that were had kind of swayed from the, you know, the life that they should have uh -huh, been living, right? and talked about. <laughs> he, he told me one day. He says, "Mr. Gunther says, you know that um, uh, I don't remember ever having a 4 H'er come before me in my courtroom." And I went back and I looked at the, at the valedictorians and the salutatorians of our schools. They were all 4 H members. You know, they had all been used yeah. and all had had ties. Uh, right, right to this Interesting. facility. Interesting, isn't that something? Yeah. So and uh, so it, you know, it, it has a it speaks volume. It, it does, and and actually, uh, it, it not only just of the of the child itself, but it brings the family together because it's more than just the child. Oh, it's generations. It, yes, right. You know, yep. you come out here, it's generations yeah. of generations yes, right. of yep. you know. I yep. know just my family, um, you know, from down, I think we're into the like fifth generation showing mm -hmm. just from coming down, right. stemming down, showing animals. So mm -hmm. it's, yeah. you know. And it, I mean, you, you go back and look and there's uh, um, some of the early accounts of the, of the, the beginnings of this fair. Mm -hmm. this, this county was uh, some of the big uh, youth fairs that they had uh, were always held in Centerville. Uh -huh. And uh, there's pictures of... Uh, uh, with the uh, for, through the record observer of of kids getting off the train in Centerville. Oh, really? At the old train station uh -huh. and marching down to the armory and the high school, where they would have a whole day of fair. They'd bring their projects and Isn't that, and that sort of stuff with them. And, wow. Uh, pictures of um, of farmers bringing their prize bull. Loaded into a wagon yeah. that's being pulled by two horses. Right, right into yeah. town. Right into town. Yep. Unloading it, showing right. it for the day. Right. So, it, you know, it's got quite a history. We're very oh, lucky yeah, that definitely. we've been able to re record as much of it as we have and keep that uh, history alive. But I say it's all accountable to the, the thousands and thousands of volunteers. Oh, yeah, I mean, know. definitely wouldn't be what we have today right. without that. No, exactly, exactly, yeah. Well, thanks for sharing. We definitely, what a year to share. I mean, right. 80 years is a right. pretty big celebration. So yeah. thanks for coming out right at the park yep. and uh, sharing some of the memories with us. Uh, Hopefully, you know, some of our viewers will enjoy hearing the stories because right. a lot of people don't know the history of just what we have in Queen Anne's County. Well, I encourage anyone that hasn't been here to please come out and take a look and see what's available to you. Oh, yeah. As, uh, it's right at our back door. County, uh, and, uh, and get involved. Get involved.